Here in this video, we'll see how to install Yang Suit. Yang Suit is a tool available from Cisco which you can download and install it for free. Yang Suit will help you to get good understanding on structure of Yang data model. And that is the data model used by all these protocols. GNMI is a Google RPC based protocol. GNMI stands for GRPC Network Management Interface, then NetConf and RESTConf. So here we will see how to initiate connection from Yang suit to the Cisco device. Now to install Yang suit, you need to go to this documentation. So we will be doing a docker based installation and for this demo I am going to use an Ubuntu machine. It is a fresh Ubuntu machine which doesn't have any specific packages installed. I have to even install docker in it. So first I'll be installing docker then I'll demonstrate how to install Yang suit. And before getting into this installation I will show a very small use case using one of the existing Yang suit server which is running in my infrastructure. So another Yang suit server IP is 0 0.31 and here I already have the repositories setup. In the later videos, I'll be showing how to even add these repositories. So here, the first repo nxos 9.3.10. I have given this name. I just pulled it from the Yang model GitHub. From this location, I have given the repository URL, then given the branch name, main, and the directory so directly i have given us this so vendor cisco nx 9310 and either we can download it in this way or we can even download it directly from the device here in this particular yang suit server i have added a device it is csr 1000v and if you want to add any device you can click on create new device give the credentials and this will connect to the device using all these protocols SSH then RESTConf and NetConf and if you already have a device you can click on check selected devices reachability and it will try to reach the device so this device is already having all these protocols enabled so NetConf uh, you can see here so ping is successful netconf restconf and ssh also is enabled now once you have the device and repository is added you need to configure the yang module sets so yang module sets are nothing but a filter for all the yang files downloaded into the server so here i have created Two filters one is ios native set here we can see what are the data models i added to this particular filter later i'll be showing how to create even sets and add the repository at the devices and all and here to explore the data model you can just click on yang set and we'll explore ios native this is one of the common data model we can click on the load module so here we should be able to see the structure of this data model so here we will just see a very small use case like how to configure host name using yang suit so this is the details about host name how to configure the host name and you can see the xpath for the xml the netconf and you can see the schema node id all these details and here a small description also is there so this will set systems network name now if you want to try the protocol we can go to restconf i'll select the ios native set what we have configured earlier then select the device csr1000v then the yang module i'll select ios native then the depth limit I'll give no limit I'll load the module so 
so now module is loaded i can click on host name and generate api so now yang suit will generate apis for all these host name related actions if we click on api we can see the methods patch put get and delete and if you want to get the current host name you can click on get and click on try it out and execute so here we should be able to see the host name if you want to verify the host name let us log into the device so the current host name is this now if you want to change this host name we can do the put method and click on try it out and i'll change this to from from yang suit and i'll execute it so we are getting the response 204 we'll verify this in the device so now host name has changed to from yang suit so in this way you can test it from yang suit you will be getting all the equivalent apis and its responses here this will be really helpful when you do some automation tasks and now i'll copy this and i have one more machine here ubuntu primary which is having a python script and this i have explained in one of the previous video where i demoed the rust conf use case and here what we need to do we just need to replace this payload with the current payload i'll just copy that and I'll paste it here and this I'll change to from Python now let me try running this script so here also I'm getting 204 now let us go back to our new Ubuntu machine and we'll verify the device config so now this has changed back to Python so it will be really helpful for you to explore the API options and create APIs. So you don't have to go and read all the Yang documentation and all. You can just come and generate APIs from here itself. So now let's get into the installation steps. So first we need to execute. To install the Docker, we need to execute apt get update. And in the end we'll see even how to enable the external access by default this will be allowing only access from the same machine localhost okay now i will add this ca certificate for docker installation And I'll use echo to set up the repository. And again, we need to give apt get update. Now we'll install Docker.
This will take a couple of minutes, so I'll pause the video. Once uh, this command execution is completed, you can give sudo apt install docker compose Okay, now we can get into the yang suit installation so here so first we need to clone this particular repository i'll copy this command and now i am in the home user one so here i'll create a directory I'll give yang suit demo and I'll paste the git clone command. So git clone is successful. Now we need to get into yang suit and docker directory. And here I'll execute sudo bash and dot slash start yang suit dot sh enter and this is asking for the yang suit the login admin username and password I'll give admin and admin I'll confirm the password and I'll set up an email I'll give yes this is going to be a self sent certificate So now this is installing yang suit it is downloading all the docker images and installing it so this will take around 10 minutes so i will pause the video Now installation is completed and it is starting the containers. So it started successfully. Now we can go to our browser HTTPS. I'll give localhost and port number is 8443. And you can see here I'm getting SSL warning and we need to accept the user license agreement click on submit and credentials is admin admin so now we can verify it here 
in the manage plugins so everything is latest and here you can see now we don't have any repositories we'll add that in the next video and we don't have any sets or devices and protocol support is same and now this will be accessible only from local machine you can see here in the log so it is getting access from local machine now I'll go to another machine and try accessing it so from here I'll open the browser I'll give HTTPS one ninety two one sixty eight zero dot ninety nine is a new Yang suit IP eight four four three. I'll give proceed and I'm getting bad request four hundred. Now if I check the terminal here we should be able to see a message saying that so add the remote host IPs like 0 0.14 was IP add that to the allowed host list you can see here so whichever machine is trying to access this particular port number so to add that I will stop the server and I'm already in the docker folder from here we have one more directory so yang suit so inside the yang suit we have a setup file setup.env and we need to edit this value I will give any host here or you can even give a specific host and now to start the service again we will go to the documentation and so you need to execute docker compose up I will give sudo So now again the yang suit is up we will try accessing from local machine first yeah, it is up and running now let us go to the another ubuntu machine we will try refreshing this page so now we are able to access even this from remote machine So we can configure and add everything from any machine in the land. So in the next video we will see how to explore the Yang data model, how to do some basic automations and see some of the API methods. I hope this video was helpful for you to understand how to install Yang suit, enable external access and how to get some basic API details, how to explore the basic APIs. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.